You're watching KCAL 9 News at noon. Well, you're busy shopping for the holiday, so you're probably not thinking about what you're going to eat. And it's hard to find something else, something healthy out there at the food court. Or at the drive through Nutritionist and weight loss expert Robert Ferguson is here. He's going to show us how we can swap out some of those fattening foods for healthier options. Welcome, Robert. Well, it's good to be here. And I'm glad you guys are very intrigued and interested to learn how <laughs> we you can are. literally Absolutely. eat you know, fast food, any type of food, and actually keep your waistline in check. And it really comes down to three basic things, and that's portions, frequency, and the combination of carbs, mm. right? So once you understand that, like we do at Diet Free Life, then you can really maximize throughout the holidays and any day. And I'll give you an example. If you look at this burger, the burger by itself is a fat burning meal. Now when you add fries, right, another fast carb to the bread, now you add inches to your thighs. You with uh, me? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, to, we have to pick between the bread and the fries. Right. Well, I mean, you can eat everything, but it's all about how you do it as far as the combinations, the amounts, etc. Okay. And you call the fries a fast carb. A fast carb. It's a carbon. It's a fast carb because it converts to sugar faster than, say, slow carbs like berries or asparagus or broccoli. Okay. Right. So if you're going to eat fast carbs, make sure you go with one full serving of a fast carb at a time. Okay. So the bread that would be a meal. Right. Now, people blow it when they add two fast carbs as part of the meal. This is how you shift your body into fat storing mode. So, so far, so good? So could I actually eat that hamburger with just the vegetables That's and, a meal and right the there. beef? You sealed the deal with this right here. Okay. Now, as you move forward, if you look at, say, a burrito, a burrito, this is a chicken burrito. That right there is a meal by itself. Where we blow it is when uh -oh. we have another fast carb serving right. with the fast carb tortilla. Right. Right? So if you get that in mind, everything works out in time. Now, if you look at the sub sandwich by itself, that's a meal. So you could put on any protein source you want, but when you get those chips, uh -huh. which is a fast carb with the bread, fast carb, again, you add to the hips. I got rhymes like all day. <laughs> <laughs> we have to now, give if you go to like a, a Chinese restaurant yes. and you get the noodles or the like a chowmin. broccoli and you throw in your beef, that's a meal by itself. But when you add the rice, fast uh -huh. carb, to the fast carb noodles, those two fast carbs, again, is going to set you up to be in fat storing mode. So you could find yourself, you know, shopping, uh, driving around throughout the holidays, you name it, and be able to pick and swap and enjoy great food eating every two to three hours. Again, okay. portions, frequency, and combination of the carbs. Here's where I get tripped up. The menus now tell us the caloric, the calories. And yes, the caloric they do. But you're Should still in charge. Should we pay attention to that? Uh, calories 100% do count, mm -hmm. right? So you want to learn like how many calories make a fat burning meal say for a woman and a man so a man's gonna eat a little bit more because we burn more calories right compared to a woman so you and I are friends and she's upset with us <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute but she's upset can, with me anyway the, the, <laughs> knowing the calories really do help however when you look at the calories on the menu that doesn't mean that you have to get all the foods that come with that meal that make up those calories. So you can cut the butter in half. You can say go light on the cheese. There's so many things that you can do once you have the knowledge. And you have to add, add the knowledge about the, the carb thing. Exactly. I mean, that is like key. If you don't understand how to combine carbs, then you look at carbs as bad. But once you learn how to combine carbs in the right way, then carbs are your friend. So carbs, we want carbs. That's carbs energy. are my friend. <laughs> there you go. All right, Robert, you mentioned frequency. What do you mean by that? Try, frequency try not is, to eat out so much? Well, you know, when a baby is born, we teach the mom to feed the baby every two to three hours, right? Well, it's the same thing we want to do for adults. You want to nurture your metabolism the same as you nurture a baby's metabolism. So you want to feed every two to three hours. So eat every two to three hours foods that you like and enjoy, and that's mm -hmm. going to keep mental clarity. It's going to keep your metabolism humming. Everything just works out better. You're happier. You know, when a kid is grumpy, time for a snack. So you want to, I mean, I have two little girls, and we know when it's time to eat. And they know that it's time to eat because they don't want to be grumpy. And uh, Daddy doesn't want to be grumpy. <laughs> so we all eat every two to three hours. And that's what I mean by frequency. One thing I know something about Mexican food. One of the problems with burritos is you tend to put two or three or four different food items inside that tortilla and wrap you it You do. However, if the tortilla is not this big, you're going to be okay, right? Because you can only put so much rice in the tortilla. You can only put so many other fast carbs inside. Most of it's going to be beans, which are slow carbs. Uh, you're going to have vegetables chopped up in there, slow carbs. You have cheese, which is a fat. The fat's going to slow down how fast the fast carb becomes sugar in the blood. So meals actually work together. And we go back to what we did back in the day. They were doing it right. Let's go back to what grandma used to say, you know, get your protein, have your starch, which I call a fast carb, have your veggie, which I call a slow carb, and that's a meal. 
They never said right. to have like the bread with the pasta, with the rice, and a milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got us That's there. That's where we went wrong. All right, Robert, thank you so well, much for you. being here. We're ready for the drive through For more information about healthy holiday eating and Robert Ferguson, just go to kcal9.com. You can click Scene on TV. I have Robert's link there for you. Thank you, Robert.